I head across to my table where I have a Kirvin Prudhom yeah. waiting on me because it's World Teachers Day. Yes. Mm. And today being World Teachers Day, also known as International Teachers Day, designated by UNESCO in 1994, it is aimed at providing attention and uh, providing recognition to teachers for the work that you have done, you, you've been doing throughout the years and years of service. So, Kevin, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you're a primary school teacher. I am. At what school? San Rafael RC. And that is in Brazil. Close to Brazil Village. And where is Brazil exactly on the it's map? It's just south of Arima, mm -hmm. about 15 minutes from Arima. Yeah, yeah. well, thanks for coming on so early. <laughs> no studio. problem. Why did you get into teaching? I always had a passion for teaching ever since I was a little boy. Mm -hmm. And I had really fantastic teachers mm -hmm. right in my area. And I always felt that passion. I wanted to give back. I wanted to see children learn. And I wanted to give my best to those people who were less fortunate. Yeah. How long have you been teaching? Nine years Nine this years. year. Wow. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I, when I speak with persons who are very successful, especially young men, they tell me that for them, having a male teacher, especially in cases where the male might be absent in the home, as a role model in schools, that's very significant and important for them. Has that been your experience? Is it a mixed school? It is a mixed yeah. school. Has that been your experience? Yes. Um, at present, at the school that I am at, there are many boys there who are without a father figure, either because they're not present in the home or may have died. And they cling to me looking for that male figure and that mm -hmm. male authority in their life. Um, um, like one of the things that I take pride in every morning when I get to school, they would run to my car and yeah. crowd around. And, you know, they're just, they're just happy to yes. see somebody who cares about them. And I think I take pride in that. Do you consciously mentor particularly the boys in the school or all children? Or is it that that's just a natural part of the work that you do? I think it's a natural part of the work. I, I consciously try to assist mentoring the young boys and even some of the young ladies. But um, I think it's part of the, part of the job, part yeah. of the vocation, yeah. I, was, I would say. How is World Teachers Day or International Teachers Day um, significant to you? Um, I think that many teachers give so much of their time and their talent, and I think sometimes they are not recognized. I think some people think that teachers have an easy job. They think that the salary is a lot, and they think the that holidays. teachers, yes, the yeah. vacation. <laughs> but many teachers, and I have many friends who are teachers as well, and I know that they give of their time, even of their own money. So sometimes yes. coming into a new academic year, teachers spend their own money on resources, um, making sure that their classroom is ready, making sure that they provide a safe environment for children. And they are unrecognized, I think. And World Teachers Day is a day where we celebrate those teachers who give so much of themselves yeah. without recognition. Um, do you plan to stay in teaching and make it as a full life career? I don't know what <laughs> I feel to me, but at present, I would say that I enjoy teaching. It's been nine years, and I look forward to nine years and more. Yeah. Well, you know, talking about recognizing teachers, today we are launching, but um, we will tell you, the public, when you can start sending your videos in, especially the children, but we are launching a Spoil My Teacher Day. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so what's going to happen is that children will be invited to submit their videos about their teacher, describing how your teacher made a difference in your life, in your school, in your community. And then at the end of the period, the winner will be totally pampered by the NOW program. <laughs> Spoiled for the entire day. What do you think about that? That is awesome. And we'll do a feature on the teacher and bring them into the studio. Just spa treatment, the full works. <laughs> yeah? I yeah. think that's good. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, you know what, Kevin? It's really, really great that you are here with us. We're commemorating the day all day today on the program. And um, I know you have to get back to San Rafael. Correct. But you're going against the traffic. Yes. Yes? Anything you want to say to your fellow teachers out there before you go? I just want to say to you all, enjoy today and have fun with your children at school. Yes. And what about to your students? I want to say to all of my students, I love you. Those who I have at present and those that I've taught before, I love you and keep working. What class do you teach? Standard one. Oh, 
Just yes. out of babies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, sir, as you are called, <laughs> thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you, Lisa. And right about now, I will be going across to Rishi. What's happening in your corner, your neck well, of the woods? I want to find out, before we get to me, yes. about your favorite teacher. Who was your favorite teacher? Mine? Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking Cohen. Oh, I had so many favorite teachers. Really? Oh, yeah, I love my teachers. I All was, of them? I was a teacher. Uh, <laughs> one of those, you know, that's like... Do, do, you, do you think you have students like that? Like? Like, like what they consider teacher's pet. Um, <laughs> no. I, I mean, there's not one, right? I mean, there's not one. <laughs> no, I, had, I, mean, I think I, I had really excellent teachers in me all too. the schools that I went to. Me too. My teachers used to actually drop me home after school. You were <laughs> teacher's pet, don't you? <laughs> there you go. I probably was. So, after school, because I lived in the bush and taxis hardly worked there, <laughs> um, my teachers would drop me home. Very because good. they were so nice to so like Miss Samai yes. and, and Miss Mohammed and you know every day every day yeah. and it was so nice of them to do that because they didn't have to mm -hmm. but they probably saw something good in me and ma wanted to make sure that I, I can't the same. I can't single out any teacher because I'll know I'll forget one yeah. I really was blessed with teachers even those I used to get licks huh? really yes that's to tell you I told you if you dig up the <laughs> foundation in the <laughs> studio you'll find a bit of me i was around the time when you could still get licks in school i think i got I licks think a few would. times you know i think i cried because i got licks a few times too yeah and don't, don't go home and tell my grandparents you, anything because you'll probably get enough. some more i don't Correct. think he's old enough <laughs> to be getting licks did we change the law somewhere there oops oops telling tears out of school <laughs> all right rishi so what's happening in your next well 